Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Digimon Survive. So we just entered into the tunnel and I mean we gotta make a decision about it's snowing outside and it's spring, which I don't know a lot about Japan climate, but they seem to think that's weird. So I seem to think that's weird. Which I mean, given these options, I can only choose Aoi shaking. Are you okay, Aoi? You don't look too good. Um, yes, I'm fine. It must be the snow. I feel like it's worse in here than out there. I thought the same thing, but I imagine they just ran on in if Miyu was with them. She's used to the place. It's getting darker, and the footing isn't great here. Let's go, but watch your step. Yeah, I'm assuming this tunnel would be freezing. Because it, it's easily going to be like 20 degrees cooler than the outside. It's pitch black. I can hardly see in front of me. <laughs> Still, isn't this like some kind of expedition? I'm getting kind of pumped. Hey, this is no time to play around. It's not safe for us to keep going like this. Ah, but if we use the camera light... I'm scared. Jeep! Oh. Knock it off, Minora. Minora. Don't just scream like that. Even I got spooked. Yeah, my bad. I just saw this here, so... I mean... This is a sacred rope? What would something like that be doing in here? I'm more interested in the electric lights down the hall that came on. Hmm. Maybe this is where the Kimonogami are enshrined or something. Now that I think about it, you mentioned that you weren't allowed to enter here, right? Yeah, the village believes in retribution. Kids are warned to stay out. Ah, what? What is this wind coming from the tunnel entrance? It's probably wind. Oh jeez, there must be a hell of a storm whipping up outside. You think those three are in trouble? We'd better hurry on to the shrine. Yes, uh, yes, you're right. Come on, there's no time to lose. Some of those transitions are kind of creepy, like indie game kind of vibes to them. Huh? The snowfall is slowing down? What the? What happened to the blizzard? This tunnel isn't that long. What could be happening here? <laughs> Talk about lucky. Just up and stopped on us. It's more like it didn't snow at all on this side of the tunnel. I mean, was the tunnel through a, like a mountain? Because they would block s stowing on one side and not the other. And look at these flowers. Aren't they something else? Forest is a sea of red. Like I've seen them in our field guide, maybe. If memory serves, these are called red spider lilies. Right! That's what they are. But this is right. It's spring, and yes, they bloom in the autumn. What in the world is going on here? Hmm. Has Aoi figured something out? Should we check out this area a little more before heading to the shrine? I guess. But what a suspicious-looking force! I should look around, or maybe talk with the others. We got. Oh, three options. Abnormal weather occurs in this area. Maybe it was a localized snowstorm. First, I've heard of something like that. That blizzard was no joke. Then there are the red spider lilies, which only bloom in the fall. I'm telling you, man, spring is in the air. <laughs> what the heck is this? Alright. Aoi, what do you got? 
This area. I have a bad feeling about it. Something's not right. Not right how? Um, I'm sorry, I can't quite put it into words. Take the flowers. They should be pretty, but they give me the creeps more than anything. Yeah. What's this? There's a bunch of stuff floating in the air. You think it's those whatchamacallits? Spores? I've never heard of red spider lilies doing something like this. These things aren't bad for us, are they? Yeah. I feel like just avoid them, even if they might be. Not might not be. Flowers like these can be found anywhere. I mean, they look pretty normal. I definitely wouldn't be standing in them like Aoi oh, is. Come on, let's hustle. The snow should be on us soon. Let's get to that shrine. Yeah, he's right. Lead the way. Okay. They don't seem to be anywhere around here. The shrine must be further in. The shrine must be just ahead. We should head toward it for now. I love seeing Agumon in the corner and not see any other Digimon. This is... Really pretty. Kaito said people never come here, but it's breathtaking. It's also kind of eerie. How could anyone expect visitors to come to a shrine all the way out here? They didn't. In fact, they made sure to warn anyone about getting too close. That's strange. I don't see the others anywhere. I could have sworn I saw someone just now. Now where could they be? We should all look around and see what we can find. Yeah. Should I look around here? Alright. I love... Oh wait, is that... Is the old shrine... Interesting. Alright. Basically just a chance to save. Old shrine, here we go. A shrine. Nothing looks out of place here. I don't... Check out this place. There are crazy patterns all over. Nora is snapping tons of photos on his phone. Huh. Didn't know he was into that. I bet they've got some freaky demon statue stowed away in there or something. I don't know about that. But whatever they worship here isn't normal. That's for sure. I would love to put one of these temples in the woods. Put like a Pikachu statue in it. What's this? Some sort of animal? A bird? Wait, a reptile? There are patterns of various animals all over. But I don't recognize any of them. I'd like to see them. Oh, what's this? A lion? A dog? Wait, a lion dog? Man, I just eat this stuff up. Is that Leomon? Damn it, Minoru. Now's not the time to be taking pictures. I mean, kind of. What? Man. Shuj is right. We have to look for Saki and the others. Still, this place is so weird. I'm not surprised Minoru's wanted a few mementos. Alright. What's the right answer? I mean... Uh, uh, we, yeah, we gotta find the other two. Not the search, Minoru. All of us need to focus on the search. Right. We'll, we'll pass it on the way out. We can take pictures then. Right, let's find them as fast as we can. I'm sure this place is making them uneasy. Alright, already. I mean, not if they keep going in. 
come on, already. We have to find them and fast. Right, sorry. Okay, let's go. Wow, the shrine really does worship beasts. There are places like this all over Japan. Some worship octopuses or weird ash trees. The ones that worship the lewd stuff are the best. Hey, watch that talk. There's a lady present. Noru. I wonder, is this the place passed down in the legends we were supposed to visit today? Haven't we been here before? Legends? Who knows? As I said, I was told not to set foot in here. I don't know much about it. But the locals say people get spirited away up in here. I see. That's certainly frightening. Is that an animal or a creaky ass door? What was that sound? Never heard anything like it. Just trees. Creaking in the wind or something. Who cares? Let's go. Let's go. Um, you guys, don't stray too far, okay? Blizzard might not be the only thing we have to worry about. Let's look for clues. Exploration. Oh, world map? I was not expecting that. Just play the game. You'll need to travel to locations on your map to advance the story. You slowly gain access to more locations by progressing through the game. Spider Lily Forest unlocked. Shrine unlocked. Switch over to the list view to see a location's information. So pay attention to the icons displayed on the list. Character means there's someone at that location. Their character icon is displayed in the bottom right corner. Let you know that if you talk to the person who's there, it will advance the plot. Other icons will show you where to find an important clue or alert you to an enemy. So keep all of them in mind as you play through the game. Try selecting a location. Oh. Just gonna um, save. Oh, so am I out of the pro? Oh, I'm still in the prologue. All right, let's go to the shrine. Because I guess there's, as you play the game, you'll be presented with situations where you have to explore. In this mode, you need to talk to others or investigate the world to find clues. The clues you need may not always be nearby. Open your map and try searching other areas too. You can always use the map to travel between the areas. Open the map with left trigger. The clues will be marked with a red eye exclamation point during exploration too. So keep an eye out for them. Looks like right now there aren't any clues in the area. Try searching somewhere else. I should talk with Minoru and Shuhuji about what to do next. Don't spread out too far, everyone. Stay where I can see you. Shuhuji's doing his best to keep us all together, still. Get back here, Minoru. Listen to what I say. Sir, yes, sir. I do apologize, your bluster ship. Alright, what about the old shrine? A shrine built in the middle of a spooky force. It really makes you want to stay away. I guess it's what you'd call solemn. The shrine gate. I haven't seen such a such I haven't seen such an big impressive gate anywhere else. They say such great gates connect the worlds of gods and men. What gods could there be here? And Minoru. Minoru's lost in his historical photo op. Better not interfere. Alright, that uh, seems to be nothing else to gain here. We're off to the spider lily forced. Hey, there's Kaito. Has he found anything? Are we... You've been pale for a while now, Aoi. How are you holding up? Ah, well, if I'm being honest, 
It's taking all I've got to deal with this place. You shouldn't push yourself if you're scared, okay? Thank you, but our friends might be facing something even scarier, you know? Saki, Ryo, where are you? Wait, are they actually our friends? Hey, Miu! Miu! Where are you? <laughs> oh, Takuma. Have those guys found anything over there? Nothing yet. You found Miu? Nope. Jeez, where the hell is she? Saki and Ryo are with her for sure. Here, I'll join the search. That'd be a great help, thanks. Weren't... wasn't... weren't we all already searching? Now we go to the shrine. I should check in with the others. Uh, Alright, Aoi, what do you got? Saki, Ryo. Oh, he's doing her best to scour the area. I should leave her to it. This is what I mean by everyone doing what they want. Saki and Ryo are no different. That's what causes trouble like this. We have rules for a reason, people. No one wander off on their own. Got it? Alright. Kaito! Damn it, Mio. Where have you gone? Kaito's upset. It's understandable. His family is still missing. Yep. And Minoru, did you find something? Huh? What? What's in this picture? Yo, Takuma, you should take some pics around here, too. Me? But why? My phone's picking up some weird stuff. Might be broken. Let's check yours. You're sure your finger isn't in the shot? It ain't my finger. Something's, like, all fuzzy in my pics. Go on, take some. Doesn't sound like he's messing around. Guess I'll take a few test shots. Oh, you will sometimes be able to find clues using the camera. Awesome. You take out your camera at any time. Except for the right trigger. Sometimes real things that would otherwise be invisible. Try using it now. Use left stick to move. Notice any distortion while using your camera. Try focusing on it. Oh. Huh, that's weird. Um... How interact. Oh, Gatsumon? What the heck? Huh, nothing's here. The camera definitely picked up something. Hmm, what's this? What is it, Minoru? Hey, you guys? There's a weird thingy over here. Weird thingy? Who knows what that could mean? Well, hey, don't just go off on your own. Grr, fine, we'll all go together. <sighs> really curious what weird thingy. Oh. What in the world? That's awesome. Look at the size of this thing! Wow, are these ruins? These look pretty old. Say, any idea what this is? Not a clue. Never heard of anything like this. If it's like the shrine's sacred, prohibited space, I'd get it if no one talks about it. Or at least, I wouldn't be surprised, but... Don't tell me Miu went in there. There's no way a girl would go into a place like this. That's where you're wrong. If it's her we're talking about, I guarantee she went inside. I bet Yusaki ran right after her, huh? All, ooh, this and ah, that. That does seem to fit her M.O. Miu? Come on! What was I just talking about? Can't lose. Let's. No. Can't lose track of him. Now 
how's that the time to say that? We have to find them all as soon as possible. Kaido goes off on his own. We'll lose track of him, too. Oh, well, sure. That's true. Let's go, too. I mean, I want to see what's in this thing. You. Ryu! I understood most of it. If you hear us, please answer. Is this a dungeon crawl? I'm glad there's some natural light. <sighs> there you are. <laughs> What's up? You just ran off. Don't worry us like that. Oh. Uh, sorry. What the? I don't believe it. Let's look at this. A mural across the whole wall. This is really something else. Whoa, you're telling me I feel like I could get swallowed up by it. Exactly. How do I explain it? There's just something divine about it. Maybe it wasn't danger or retribution that caused people to close off this area. They might have been trying to protect this sacred place. Hey, now's no time for gawking. Did you forget what we came here for? Right. 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 Sorry, just got caught up in all this. He's right. We have better things to do right now. What should we focus on? Uh, I mean, obviously finding the others, but... Uh, I really want to know what is this shrine. That's not the focus. Yeah, we have to look for Saki and the others. Oh, Saki! Yeah. Where are you? Huh? I hear footsteps by the entrance. Could it be the others? It's probably that. Oh. Oh, this. Okay. Oh, he saw all the eyes when he got out of his car or something. Hmm. And you are. Ah. Hello there. Who's that? Your guess is as good as mine. What are all of you doing here? Surely you know you can't be in here. Is this, is this TK? Ah, um, well, you see. That's our line, man. What are you doing here? Oh. No need to worry. My purpose here is far from nefarious. I'm a researcher of the Kimonogami faith passed down in this region. The shrine is connected to said faith. I just got permission to investigate it. Researcher? Investigate? Are you a scholar of some sort? Indeed. I study ancient Japanese history, researching it for a university nearby. Uh, that makes you a professor? Ha. I've been shunned from scientific society. Ah, forget that last part. <laughs> so this place is valuable enough to be worth researching, huh? Well then, what's brought all of you to a place like this? Yes. Well, you see, sir. I'm gonna go look somewhere else. Hey, Kaito! Now, now, Shuiji. Let's just let him do his own thing for now, yeah? I get why Kaito is feeling restless. I'm really curious about this place. No idea if Saki and the others came here. Let's look around for some clues. I bet you could ask this guy. This shrine is pretty weird. Maybe I should talk to the professor or inspect the mural. I want to see these dang murals. Alright. 
as far as I remember, these are Digimon codes. And we got a Miramon, Seedramon, Humanmon. Oh, I can't actually take pictures. That's that's funny. Oh yeah, and ah, I forget the ghost. I forget what they're what they're calling. Oh, this is big dragon, big dragon mon. Some girl. All right. Oh. The professor is the only thing I can interact with. Have you all come here to study the Kimonogami as well? Yes, we're on a school trip. But we actually came to look for some missing people. Our friends and that guy's sister. Yeah, he came to look for her. In this, the Kimonogami shrine? Hope she hasn't been spirited away. Spirited away? Yes, popular anime <laughs> movie you may have heard of. Yeah, there's a legend about the Kamanogami passed down since ancient times. But it's more than a legend. The stories are true, you see. True, you say? Indeed. It was once custom to offer up local children to the beast gods as sacrifices. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out why the gods would want dead children but glossing over that how awful it was a desperate measure to ensure the harvest or perhaps to prevent disasters yet these children did not die supposedly they were taken somewhere unharmed so that's what you mean by spirited away yes but the custom was lost to the ages and this angered the ancient Kamanogami. Over time, such abductions were no longer a ritual sacrifice, but a curse or retribution. Many legends regarding such incidents have been passed down in this region. I place no faith in fairy tales, of course. There must be a scientific explanation. Well, earlier you said that they're going to get spirited away, which is not a scientific reason. Some reason for the continuous disappearances since ancient times, I'm sure of it. I view this as a superstition. You just said you don't believe in curses or science or non science stuff. Or a mental block designed to escape from reality. He seems pretty worked up somehow. Is he mad or upset maybe? I know you came looking for your friends. But I'm glad you could see these legendary ruins. Interest in histological origins is a wonderful thing indeed. I support it wholeheartedly. Ah, um, thank you, sir. Take a good look at this. Who knows? It may end up being of use to you all. Alright. Let's learn about these walls. So these are all drawings of Kamanogami. They come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Hey, why do you think there are there are there so many Kamanogami in the first place? Do you have a hunch, sir? Indeed, there are several possible explanations for all this. The unique terrain could explain the frequent incidents, weak footholds, steep slopes. Magnetic fields mess with sense of direction, and overgrowth in flora and fauna. Ah, like the red spider lilies then. I believe there's something in, in the minerals around here that makes people lose their way. Creatures of the Kamanogami faith may have been altered somehow by this substance. I see, that would make sense. Okay, so people bowing down to some girl between them and a dragon. 
discovery of these minerals has led to rapid development of this region in recent times. A sudden population boom would naturally increase the number of missing persons. Dwindling resources, depopulation, likely absconding in the night from such troubles. Depopulation? Doesn't that kind of go against the population growth thing? I suspect that recent landslides are a result of unchecked development since the Shawa era. Unraveling the issue piece by piece allows for a logical explanation of the legend. At least, that's what I think. Yes, learning from the past can help us in the present. Wow, thank you so much, Professor. Man, you kids are dumb. What a wonderful and unexpected lesson we've learned here today. And only two of our friends are missing. And one guy's sister. Yeah, muchas gracias, prof. prof. Hey now, show some respect. Alright. Anything of value on my phone? I like the wobble on the phone. Alright, I guess there's nothing. Professor! Professor, what do you got? Huh? What's with this wall? Is this writing or something? Yep. Are these drawings or some kind of text? Yeah, something like that. There's all sorts of stuff on this crazy wall painting. I've never seen anything like it. Huh? Something's written here. Maybe I can read it? Nope, not a word of it. Okay. This is just conjecture based on my investigations. I think it says Agumon. How do you how do you translate this language? As my research progressed, I learned that each of the Komonogami have their own names. Is that so? So there must be a bunch of those things running around. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. What the heck was that? I mean, hopefully it's Saki. Ah, Mew. Oh, it's you. Mew. What is it? Did something happen? Some weird creep popped up out of nowhere, so I took off. Ah, oh no, I left Saki behind. <laughs> Oh, well, there she comes. That voice? Saki? I came from outside, near the shrine. Come on, let's go. Was the weird creep her brother? Because that's going to be great if it was Kaito. Whoa, what's with this fog? Yeah, man. It wasn't nothing like this when we came through earlier. Yeah, wouldn't it need to rain or heat up a lot? If we go out in this now, we'll be just as lost as the others. What about Saki and that scream just now? Ah! Stay away from me! Wait, what the heck was that? Is, is she being attacked by something? You mean like a pervert? A pervert? On a mountain? Maybe it's a boar or something. Yeah, I can hear growling, I think. Oh, hey, I was... It just me, or did something light up over there? We should head towards her voice. My eyes playing tricks on me? I can barely see a thing around here. This fuck is seriously weird, man. It bothers me too, but not as much as Saki screams. Yeah. Hey, Saki, Leo, are you okay? Wait, something's here. What is that? Some kind of statue? No, no, that thing's moving. What in the world? That's impossible. Come on, 
could have moved his mouth. That sound again? So this weird thing was making it? Back off, you freak show. What is that? Hey, what's going on? I heard a bunch of screaming back there. Mia, you were here the whole time? What? Kaito, why are you here? Wait, Saki, we're coming to help. Is that you, Aoi? No, stay away! No, come here and help! <laughs> Ryu, fucking coward. That creepy thing's looking this way. What, what should we do? It's not like we can just leave them all alone, right? Even if she tells us to? We can! This weird statue like creature set its sights on the others. A creature? No. A monster. What are you waiting for? Get the hell over here already. Could that be one of the Kamanagami? No. How could that be? Professor, he followed us from the shrine? We have to save those guys from this monster. I, I think run while you can is the right on for the closer in time. Uh, I want to run, but it's such a... <laughs> running seems like the obvious better thing, which they should both be doing, but I guess get closer and talk. Let's try talking to it. Yeah, could just be some kid pulling a prank. Hey, you there. Whoa. Hold on, Shuji. How heavy would a kid have to be to leave footprints that deep? Footprints? Uh. Look out, Shuji. Uh. Takuma. Uh. What the heck? Barely grazed me, and yet, what power? Are, are you alright? I'm so sorry. You saved me there. This is bad. Let's get out of here. A creature we've never seen before is coming right at us. What's going on? What a crazy situation we've gotten into. Why the heck is this happening? <laughs> you okay, Aoi? Oh no, Aoi fell down, and that rock monster is coming this way. Stop! Stay away from her! I can't let it hurt Aoi. Just knocked out. Now the rest of this game is going to be a fever dream. That thing just sent me flying. Oh, jeez. Ow, man. That thing's strong. I'm lucky I got away with a few scratches after a tackle like that. The others... Hey... You guys okay? Takuma, are you alright? I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Everyone seems to be okay, somehow. The fog has covered the entire area. There's red spider lilies at my feet. So creepy. Guys! You there? Huh? Oh, fuck. <sighs> hmm. When the heck did it corner them? When the heck did it corner I mean, there's a bunch of them, so... This is bad. It's getting closer and closer. They're in for a world of hurt. Is there any way they can make a break for it? What? Huh? I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Am I going numb? Or did I take a harder hit than I thought? Or is it... Huh? An earthquake? At a time like this? Holy crap! Shaking is getting worse. Is everyone okay? 
Be careful, everyone. Move without paying attention, and you'll. What is it, Shuji? Did Shuji get got? Oh fuck! Whoa! I don't. I tried taking a step forward, and the ground crumbled underneath me. I plunged into a gaping hole that seemed to pull me in. I couldn't even tell what was happening to everyone else. Unchecked development, recent landslides, the professor's words are coming back to me. You are! Nailed it. Okay. Are we still in the prologue? Oh, look at that. Ah, it's got a lot of blur to it, but it's so pretty in a way. This is not... It's not the song I would have paired with this, but... This intro, but it looks great. Falcomon. I'm excited because well I knew my first two Digimon. I know Falcomon and Agumon. Okay, Terriermon? Or is that the other one? Lobmon. Terriermon's green. I, I recognize this flower one, but Florimon. Mm. Yeah, what's is it? It's Kunmon. Yeah. So the only one I'm not sure about is Labramon. Ugh. Never seen this thing. Drac. Dracmon. This is a Shellmon. Which makes sense. It kind of looks like her style. Anyway. Sayako, oh, god damn it. Does the professor get a Digimon? Oh. Poor guy. I would be so upset traveling with seven kids and they each get a Digimon and I don't. this intro it's like that's some really it's nicely like hand drawn but also then animated and moving the camera through a picture uh, yeah Ugh. I excuse me I could have sworn I fell in a hole in the ground. Ah, the adventure begins. Ow. Um, am I safe? Am I below the shrine? Looks like I got caught in a landslide or something. Oh, hey, everyone. Is everyone okay? Um... Uh, ow. My head is pounding. I can't see anyone. Looks like they aren't here. Maybe I should take a look around. All I can do is look around for now. Alright, um. Just another. Are we at. Oh, we're still in the prologue. And my phone's not at help. Deep forest, overgrown spider lilies. I guess let's look at these spider lilies. The grounds collapsed all around here. None of my friends are here. I should check out other places. Alright, the deep forest. I don't see anyone here. Maybe I can find some traces of them in a different area. I should check out other places. I wonder if he means pull out my map. They're not here. What a relief. That means they weren't caught up in the landslide. I should check out other places. I 
can hear those sounds from before. Is that those stone monsters? Better be. I hope different Digimon have different cries. Oh no, they're coming this way. I have to get the hell out of here. Alright. I'm assuming we're gonna run into Agumons. Uh, huh. Okay. I don't think they're following me. I made it back to the shrine somehow. None of those Gatsumon are here. No one's here. Not a single person. Hey! Noru! Aoi! Is anybody here? No responses. Where the heck did they... Oh, maybe I can get one of them on the phone. I'll call Minoru. No service here? Damn, my phone is useless. What? Did something move just now? Oh man, something's in here. Is that rock monster again? The sound disappeared. Doesn't look like it's trying to jump me. Whatever it is. Hmm. What should I do about that rock? Jump at it. Carefully move closer. Not knowing what's coming this way freaks me out. I'll try moving closer. Because I bet it's not a rock monster. I'll do my best not to set this thing off. Huh? It's gone? Where in the world? Some of the grass is moving over there, like something's in there. I can't see anything. Something's there, isn't it? Hmm. This reminds me of the last time. Alright then, what to do? What did Minoru say? What did he say? What did Minoru What did he say? Now that I think about it, I remember Minoru saying something back then. Something about picking up weird stuff with his... <gasps> That's right! He picked up a presence with his phone camera. Why don't I take a picture? Great, I'll give it a shot. Well, I mean... Whoa, what the heck was that just now? Just a moment. But I definitely saw something. This will help me see it. I don't know what I'll do if something attacks me again. Nothing will come of just sitting here. I look around with my phone to see what I find. Puts phone away. Come on. Focus. Analyze. Oh. Hmm. Nothing here, huh? Um, why is it getting closer? Huh. Nothing here, huh? This is about where that grass first moved, so... Oh yeah, he's still there. It's, uh... Koromon? What the heck is that? Some kind of creature. It doesn't seem like that rock thing from before. Hope it's a bit friendlier. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's gone. Don't tell me it plans to attack from the shadows somewhere. I'll survey other spots with my camera. So now is it at one of these spots? Alright, um, here. Oh yeah. I found it. That thing from before. It's right over there, no doubt about it. What should I do? It doesn't look hostile, but still. Man, did it vanish again? This thing's quick on its feet. At least, I think it has feet. I'll survey other spots with my camera. Alright. I bet after this one it's going to get real close to me. Bingo, there it is. Whoa, it's closer now. Whoa. 
What is this thing? Hey, that's my line. Wait, you're... It talks? Shoo! Back off! Dang it! Never seen anything like this before. What the heck is it? Seriously, what's this thing's deal? I'm not a thing, I'm Koromon. I've been waiting for you, old buddy, old pal. Koromon? Sorry, but that pal talk rubs me the wrong way. The name's Takuma, okay? Anyway, just back off for a sec, will you? Takuma? That's your name? Nice to meet you, Takuma. Doesn't answer my question. No, more importantly, what do you mean you were waiting for me? Yeah, for ages. Like, such a long time, pal. Why? How long? Well, that's easy. You see, uh... Uh... Hey, why was I waiting? What's with this thing? It understands me, but I wouldn't call this a conversation. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't seem to mean me any harm, I think. You took the words right out of my mouth. At any rate, I see you're not human. That's what I am. A human. And a young one at that. A young human. Never seen one before. You're kind of weird looking, aren't you? Still, I'm glad I got to meet you. Mm-hmm. I've been craving something, you see. I've been waiting forever and ever. Craving? What do you mean? Anyway, you're the one for me. Like I've been waiting for you forever. What do you mean? I don't get it. Listen up, uh, Koromon, was it? Stop treating me like some kid, alright? I'm already in junior high. What's a junior high? Well, it basically means I'm an adult. Huh. Adults are smaller than I figured. I'm not savage. <laughs> anyway, my point is I'm not a kid. Why not? You seem pretty childish to me. Why else would you get upset over every little thing? Savage. Shut up. I've had enough. Back off already. Wait! Takuma! First things first, I've got to shake off this weird critter somehow. I'll try and get away from the shrine. <sighs> okay, I think I finally lost it. Still, what the heck was that thing? I've never seen anything like it. The really thing, weird thing is, I wasn't all that scared of it. I mean, it was so small, and it talked like a kid. Plus, it was so buddy-buddy. Heck, the fact that it talked at all is weird enough on its own, right? Maybe I was sleepwalking or something. Huh. Maybe I should look around more. Yeah, talk about you probably hit your, your head before this. Pretty hard. What the? Something is moving in the grass. Oh, fuck. Holy... It's that rock monster that attacked us before. Fuck. Can't believe one was here. Damn. Can't get away. It's too close. Hey, but at least you can see it without your phone. Do I get a battle? Do I get to play a game? What should I do? I guess... Stand and fight. Wait and see. Seems like the smarter move can't let my guard down. Maybe I should wait and see what it does. I guess it's already punched me a few times. Its body is made of stone. I have to watch out when it charges. Still, when I look closely, it doesn't seem all that strong. Ah, oh, shoot. Spoke too soon. Ah! I'm getting headbutted by a rock. Ouch. What the heck, man? Oh no, son of a... Looks like he's gonna charge again. RUN! 
Is that Koromon? This thing's got an axe to grind with ya. Hurry up and get out of here. Oh, jeez. My legs are... Try to hold it off so you can get away. Here I go! Oi, you're weak. Like, super weak. You're the one that should be running. But I've got to protect you, Takuma. Uh, it's no use. I don't even know if Koromon has any bones in its body. I mean, I guess it has to. Oh man, this is bad. Koromon will be in trouble if this keeps up. I can't believe that title thing is risking his life to protect me. I know. I can't just run off on my own and let it fight to the death. But what? Distract it? Protect Coral. I think distracting it's the right move. Hey, monster, opponent's over here. Yeah, yeah it was Gatsuman. Yeah, come and get me. Because I could protect Koromon. But... Then we're just both getting beat up. That's bad. Go, Koromon. At least one of us should escape. No way! Can't just leave you behind, Takuma. Well, I guess that makes two of us then, huh? Ah. Uh, now that you mention it, <laughs> in a bit of a pinch, but you know what? I can't afford to laugh. What can I say? Suddenly, I feel like I can do it. Come on. I'm gonna go for it, Takuma. Huh? What are you saying? Just watch, Takuma. I told you I'd protect you, and I meant it. Kuramon, Digivolve 2? Into rookies. Change into digital champions to save the digital world. Ah, look at Agumon. Looks so great. Agumon! Look at me now. Gatsumon reached rookie level. Win condition. Gatsumon defeated. Lost. Agumon dies. Oh god. Also change the difficulty. When you're in a fight, you just can't win. You may want to try changing the difficulty. What's... Okay, normal's probably fine. Start bad. Did... I hope to exercise some caution. Defending is an important aspect of battle. End your turn without attacking or using an item to defend. Defending reduces frontal attack damage by half. Attacks from the side or rear are unaffected. Try defending. No, I want to move first. Oh, yeah. I could have backed up a little bit. And he wouldn't have hit me. Defending against the enemy's skill reduces its damage by half. Not only did this significantly lower the damage it took, it also wasted the opponent's SP. As the enemy attacked this turn, it can't defend. Make the most of it. Unleash a skill now that the enemy is defenseless. Choose attack and then select Pepper Breath. I want to move! I want advantage. During battle, it's important to keep attacks and defense in mind when you take your turns. Oh wait, I'm... I think I have the moving advantage, so I can just kind of retreat some. Yeah, see, he can't attack me. But I can do this. Yeah, I've played a game or two like this. I've played Final Fantasy Tactics a lot. Victory! Ooh, level up. These stats are all pointless to me, but great. What a potency crystal. Incredible.
incredible. It really beat that monster. And what's with his appearance? This is the same Koromon as before, right? As you explore and earn rewards in battle, you obtain items and equipment. Equipable items can improve your abilities and let you use skills. Looks like you found an equipable item. Let's try equipping it. Open up the pause menu. I always need to be equipped from the status screen, so open that. This screen shows your team members' abilities and equipments, plus an evolution level. Where, what is my evolution level? I don't... Press change categories. Evolution level. Um... Um, so, change. Looks like sparks. Does this affect attacking somehow? Yep. Alright. Good enough for me. Alright. I'm gonna... S can't save right here. But I'm gonna end this episode right here. So thank you guys so much for watching Digimon Sur this episode of Digimon Survive. Um, we just met up with Agumon, so there's going to be a lot more Digimon battling, hopefully, in the next episode. I can't promise that. It took an hour and a half about to get to Agumon, which is a long time. But thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!